Hi everyone, welcome to a new opinion video. And uh, today I want to talk about Star Trek. Picard. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I have just been watching uh, all, all, all the episodes, yeah, all the episodes in season three of uh, Star Trek Picard. I, I started yesterday, evening yesterday, and then I watched the seven episodes. I start well at six p.m. evening till uh, at night, and then I continued for a couple of hours ago, and to watch episode eight, nine, and ten. Um. Well. Well, first up, it uh, it's all about the changelings. Yeah, you know, the changelings that change into anything. Um, well, first they meet this woman named Vadik. Yeah, she's bad news. And she was the boss over the changelings. So, well, the changelings were inside the Federation. Yeah, one of the Federation people. But, well, but the people didn't know that. No. Until later. Um, they were into uh, Federation, Starfleet, and... and... Uh, other, yeah, in the Federation, and they want to sabotage the Federation, yeah, they do anything to uh, sabotage, and, you know, and, well, there's a couple of changelings on the Titans, where, where Seven of Nine is um, the first officer, and uh, and Shaw, Captain Shaw, yeah, he was the captain of the Titans. And there it was, a changelings, that sabotaged the ship. And also, well, everything goes to. Beverly Crusher, and here's a spoiler for you who haven't watched the season three yet of Picard. Well, this boy named Jack is Beverly Crusher and Captain Picard's son. Yeah. Well, because, uh, well, after you saw... Um, you know, nemesis. Um, you know that uh, Beverly Crusher and uh, Picard have this uh, relationship. Boyfriend, girlfriend, you know. For a while. And then it was over. For some reasons. And uh, you know that Beverly Crusher was pregnant. And she left all her friends. The Starfleet, and she wants to do her own thing. And, well, t well, 20 years have passed, or 24, or, you know. And she and her son had this ship. And this med medication ship that, that they have, they transported... Uh, medications to uh, people that need medications and they help the different people and well and well there were some people that were after Jack Beverly Crusher's son yeah Be well because there's there's something special about Jack he has a powers abilities yeah, 
and well also he can control other people yeah because his eyes turning red and then he can control uh, the people the creatures that he uh, thinks about and they want to control and well also in this season uh, Captain Picard meets an old enemy yeah from many many years ago when well okay I'll tell you well back in uh, the Enterprise days in Next Generation yeah, you know, Next Generation from the 80s. Yeah. Well, there was uh, a two-part episode called The Best of Both Worlds. And in that episode, you see that Picard was assimilated by the Borg. And his crew of the Enterprise did whatever they, they can to save their captain. And they did, they saved him, and they thought, okay, now it's over, we saved our captain, and, you know. And then, you know, the movie, the first, first contact comes out. And, uh, well, Picard meets the Borg again. But, well, but this time, another crew member of Picard was taken, taken by the Borg. Um, data, yeah, data was taken by the Borg and assimilated. And the Borg Queen turns a data into kind of a human. Yeah. So. And then in the movie, First Contact, you hear Data say, Resistance is futile. And, well, the Borg Queen has plans. So when the Borg ship was um, almost destroyed, the Borg transported themselves over to Enterprise. Yeah, and they were hiding for a while. And well, also, the people on Enterprise were assimilated. Yeah, there were many, many, many uh, um, people on on board that was assimilated by the Borg. And when uh, Picard and uh, the crew defeated the Borg and the Queen. They thought that, oh, the Queen are dead. Until now. Many years later. You know Jack. He, uh, uh, the, well, the, the bad guys were after him. Because the Borg, they hired, uh, bo uh, they hired um, bounty hunters to get Jack. So, Wadik, she killed many, many people on board the Titans because she wants Jack to come to her. Yeah. And, well, Jack, uh, you know, he was the one that the Borg needed in their plans. So when when the Picard and the crew were hiding Jack, Wadik did whatever she could to destroy the Titans. So they were under water. They didn't have any powers at all. But before that you see that Wadik has this um um, space portals that goes from one place to another. So when that Riker says, "Fire! Give them everything we got," 
Well, the torpedoes went through the portal and comes back behind the Titans and uh, the torpedoes that the Titans fired hits Titans instead and you know there was powerless and they were drowning yeah and then you see Riker well he took over for Shaw and Riker were, were very upset and mad and angry at Picard so he told them to get off the bridge yeah and also uh, you see that Beverly Crusher she counted from 10 and down to number one every time because she felt that it was something with those um, energy something you know and then she told Picard and Riker about it and then uh, you know so they find a way to get up instead of down so they ride the these um, you know the things the so they surfed it, surf, surf and it, and get the boost, so they got up, yeah. So when they was on the top, they saw the ship, Vadik's ship. That ship was huge, huge. And so what's well, so the a couple of first episodes of Picard season three? Well, it's about the changelings that they take over the Federation and they were destroying the Federation from inside. And, and well, also there were a weapon that were stolen. So Rafi and Worf, yeah, you know the Klingon Worf? Yeah, he's back. So they work together to find who is responsible by stealing this weapon? So they, so Ruffy, at before she met uh, Worf, she was down at this planet and talking to this Ferangi, and she said that she works for this guy, but well, but this Ferangi said, "No, you're not, because I got his head." Here. And you know that uh, uh, the Ferengi gave uh, Rafi a drug that she put it into her eye, and then you know Rafi was in terrible condition. And then you see that a sword immediately comes into the stomach of the bad guy that tries to take Rafi and you guess who that is who had the sword yeah that was Worf yeah the son of Mog um so he comes and she and he safe saved, saved um, Rafi and brought her back to the ship and when Rafi woke up she heard Klingons Oprah, you know, Oprah, a bit, well, because Klingons likes to listen to Oprah, not the woman, not the woman, but the music, Oprah, and she was wondering who that person was, and she almost killed Worf, because she didn't know Worf, she, well, she heard about him from uh, Picard, well, Picard told and talked about Worf and the other that he works with. And when she got to know Worf, she works with Worf and find out 
that this weapon and this these people that are behind stealing the weapon is the same that Picard and the crew of the Enterprise were as investigating. So it was the same case. And Rafi and Worf worked with uh, Picard and Riker and, and George LaForge. Um, well, and also Rafi and uh, Riker and uh, George LaForge. No, wait a minute. Rafi, Riker and Worf were transported into this um, space station, a museum of some kind, with old spaceships, and there were items there from old days. And, and then, afterwards, when they opened the door, they saw Moriarty. Yeah, you know, the enemy of... Um, Sherlock Holmes, yeah. Well, you remember season two of Star Trek: Next Generation, when um, when you see Georgie LaForge and Data were on the holodeck, and you see Moriarty. Yeah, he's back. A little cameo in that in one of the episodes, and also. They heard a song. Yeah. So Riker recognized that song. And well then you saw a little clip from uh, the Enterprise uh, in the next generation when you see Riker goes into the holodeck for the first time and met for the first time Data because Data had a problem to you know whistle the song Pop Goes the Weasel you know and then you see yeah well here's more spoilers for you um, you see, Data, yeah, well, Data is back, but his brother Lore, yeah, he's also back. You see him in a little, in there as well, in uh, Data's conscience, yeah. And, um. Well, Data helps uh, Picard and the rest of the crew with the Borg and the Changelings. Um, well, every, every bad guy, every bad guy and bounty hunters and creatures and everyone is after Jack. Jack Crusher. Because there's something special with him. Like I said, he had got powers, he got abilities, and that's the thing the Borg wanted in their plan. And also, well also the Changelings steals Picard's old body. Yeah. So Picard's old body are on the spaceship that belongs to Vadik. This woman, terrible woman. She thinks she's smart, but she's not. So, Picard season three is, um, well, ex well, is exciting, awesome, fun, and great and um, to watch and uh, well I I loved it I loved season 3 of uh, Star Trek Picard and I liked it very much 
and well, and and I'm a huge Star Trek fan, and I've been a Star Trek fan since the eighties. When I saw, when I saw the old TV show from the sixties, yeah, on uh, one of the German channel we had back then, and then. In, well, in, in the 90s, I, I got introduced to Star Trek The Next Generation. I got introduced to Star Trek Deep Space Nine and Star Trek Voyager. Yeah. So, well, so these shows that I just mentioned are my favorite Star Trek shows of all times. And well, and in the two thousand, there comes uh, a Star Trek Enterprise with Captain Archer. That is the beginning of the Star Trek saga. And then Star Trek Discovery. Well, 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 Star Star Trek Discovery have have some episodes. Yeah, some episodes that I liked. But I watched all the three seasons plus season four. Yeah, I watched season four on um, on uh, Paramount, Apple TV, Paramount. Yeah, and well, and and I must say that uh, well, Star Trek Discovery uh, it isn't isn't a good Star Trek TV show at all. No. There, well, there were some episodes that I liked, some, but not all of them. And, well, I, I bought Star Trek Discovery Season 1 on DVD and Blu-ray. But, well, but I never bought Season 2 or Season 3 or 4 or 5, no. So... Well, so Star Trek Discovery isn't my favorite TV show at all. No, I thought I thought that I thought I I liked Star Trek Discovery. I I was in the beginning. Oh, I want to see it. I want to give it a chance. Maybe it's good, but no. Well, some episode I like, and. And the rest I didn't. Well, there, well, there's maybe some people out there that are well are a huge fan of Star Trek Discovery, but I am not. No. I well, I like Star Trek. I like uh, I like the shows, but Discovery, no, not that much. Uh, well, if if I'm gonna give. Say uh, Star Trek Discovery stars. I would give it three stars out of ten. Yeah. Um. Well, Star Trek Picard season one and season three were two of the best season in Star Trek Picard. Uh, well, see, season two, um, how can I put it, um, was, yeah, it was a great season, but, well, but if I'm going to give Star Trek Picard stars, I, I would give season one and season three nine stars out of ten, and Season two of Star Trek Picard, I give um, seven, seven stars out of ten. Yeah. But well, but if well, if I'm gonna choose between Star Trek Picard and Star Trek Discovery, guess what I choose? Nope. I wouldn't choose Star Trek Discovery. No. I will choose Star Trek Picard. Because, well, because season three of Picard 
had, well, had, half of the season were were all about these changelings that took over the Federation, the Starfleet, and the spaceships. And well, a after well, after they defeated Vadik and the changelings. Well, the Diana Troy. Well, she's um. Um. Well, she's not a human. She's um. Um. Well, Diana Troy isn't human, and and she well she could feel. What, other, people and creature feels. So she could, so she has this feeling that it's darkness on Titans and it's not over. And, and she talks about Jack. There's something wrong with Jack, your son. And it's time for me to meet your son. And, and well, end of, uh, um, Episode um, uh, eight. Yeah, she talks to Jack, and she felt that Jack were hiding something, hiding the truth. Who is he? Who is Jack? And where does he come from? Well, actually, Jack comes from. Beverly Crusher, but, well, you, you probably remember, well, this is a spoiler also for you, well, you remember that Picard were assimilated by the Borg for many years ago, and turned into Locutus. Back then, the queen of the Borg planted something inside Picard, that, well, that the Federation didn't know about. No. And, and when, when uh, Picard and Beverly Crusher, while well, she and Picard has a romantic relationship back then, when they have, you know, intercourse, and when Beverly Crusher were pregnant, that thing were um was um in put into Beverly Crusher at the same time, and then. Ja uh, a while after, a couple of months after, Jack were born. And well, when he was a little kid, he didn't know that. That he is special and has powers and abilities. So when he grows up, afterwards he hear a voice inside his head. And he, well, he thought that, oh, may maybe it's my mother's voice. But it's, it wasn't. And well, then later on, he saw a red door. A door that is red. And what is behind that door? Many years has passed. Until the day he talks to Diana Troy. Yeah. And Diana Troy took his hand when they were talking. And she felt something. And she mentioned a red door. And Jack knew about this red door. Because he's seen it before. And Diana Troy told him, let's open the door and see what's behind it. But Jack wouldn't. But uh, Diana Troy convinced him. So she... So she, uh, she told him, well, I, I can open the door for you. So she went and opened the red door. 
And behind that door was an old enemy of the Federation. The Borg were inside that door. And, well, Diana Troy didn't tell Jack at first. So she went directly to Picard and Beverly Crusher and told them. And, uh, well, Jack, he wondering, what did Diana Troy see that she don't tell me? I want to know. Yeah. And when Picard tells Jack about the Borg and, you know, a little bit after you see that Jack, he walks away because you know that um, Diana Troy tells Picard and Beverly Crusher that your son is dangerous. And then you hear that Picard um gonna bring his son to this um uh, Walken or Romulan's place and told uh, and he then Picard lied to his son and told him that uh, it was the academy or something but Jack knows that it wasn't it was an institution for sick people And Jack, he took control over the guards and he went out. And then he saw his mother and the mother, Beverly Crusher, talks to him. But he didn't listen. So he went to the shuttle, shuttle uh, um, on the ship Titans, there were shuttles, so he went down there took a shuttle and flies away. And it disconnected the transporter and the signal or something that they couldn't they couldn't bring Jack back. No. And Jack were heading to the Borg ship. And on the Borg ship there is someone waiting for Jack and okay well okay you know that it's the Borg but well I'm gonna tell you anyway who that person is you remember back when you saw the first contact you see the Borg Queen and well the Borg Queen was killed in the first contact but, well, but for some reason, she's back and she wants revenge and she's after Jack and want Jack to control every, every young cadets, cadets that are in the Federation. Yeah, and everyone in their 20s or younger were controlled by the Borg and they took over all the ships and they, well, they destroyed every people, every person that wasn't assimilated by the Borg. And also, uh, uh, well, you know that George, Georgie, Georgie LaForge, yeah, he got two daughters, two daughters, both of them were controlled by the Borg. And Georgie LaForge was very upset and uh, sad about this. Now I can't see my daughter no more. But then you hear a Data or Picard or someone says, we're going to get them back. And well also, yeah, also you see and end, end of uh, episode 9, part 9, 
you see that when these uh, young uh, cadets took over the Titans, Ruffy and Seven of Nine were left behind because Captain, you know, Captain Shaw was killed. And before he died, he told Seven of Nine, the ship are yours. You have the command now. Yeah. And that means that Seven of Nine is the new captain on the ship Titans. Because Captain Shaw were killed. And Picard and the rest of the crew were heading to the shuttle bay. And they took a sh shuttle and escaped the Titans. And then they say, oh, we need a ship. And you know, Georgie LaForge, yeah, I know a ship that we can use. I, I've been work, working on upgrading this ship for 20 years. And guess what kind of ship it was? You remember Star Trek The Next Generation back in the 80s, late 80s. And the movie The Generation in the 90s. Then we saw the Enterprise. Yeah, the Enterprise were destroyed. But now... They have upgraded it, rebuilt it. So now you see Worf, Picard, Beverly Crusher, Diana Troy, Data, and Riker on the bridge of the Enterprise. Like the old days, yeah. And this time, 